to illustrate an SN1 reaction, here I have my friend, Ying Ting, and a colleague here who is helping me with this demonstration. I hope you can understand better after doing this. So imagine that now he's wearing a cap, this cap here, that represents this fragment that's boxed up in this line. And my friend, his person, the whole body, is the chloride, the living group. I, my body, represent the incoming nucleophile. So this is what happens in SN1. Step 1, the self-dissociation of this alkyl group from the living group. And then we know that the carbocation ion that's being formed here is sp2 hybridized, which means it's flat, it's trigonoplanar, and that's why this fragment now becomes flat. Do you see? It's flat. So now I'm the nucleophile, I'm going to pick it up and form a bond. I can do it this way, and now I'm connected to this fragment, or I can go back. When it's still flat, I pick it up and I wear it the normal way. So do you see before and after, the cap on me looks really different and this is what it means by having a retention, which means same way as it was worn before. <laughs> same way or the opposite way, which is the inversion of steel chemistry.